Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video on one of the questions I get asked most about buying Chanel bags. I think it's something we've all considered from time to time. It is that time old question of caviar versus lambskin. I am lucky enough to be able to talk about this today. I have both here. Both of them are in the classic flap in the medium size and this little beauty here is the 18B collection from Chanel. It is in the purple lambskin. And then this at the back is the classic flap again in the black caviar leather. And already just from looking at them both on the camera, and if I bring them up um, just beside each other, you can see the difference in the leather in the leather so clearly. If we look firstly at the um caviar leather, if I bring it up and you see the little bumps in the leather and it gives that shine whenever the light hits them. It definitely gives a rougher feel whenever you put your hand across the caviar and it, it definitely makes the bag a lot more durable. That being said, when we bring the lambskin up to the camera, you can see, even though you can't feel it through the camera, obviously you can see just how soft and luxurious and puffy this leather is. There is no doubt that lambskin is a beautiful, beautiful leather. It is so luxurious. It is so supple and, and buttery and just squishy. If you look, if you can see just that pushing in, how puffy the leather is. And it really is a very luxurious bag to have. And that probably plays into, in France, um, Chanel lovers in France would still prefer lambskin and almost look at caviar as the kind of second rate leather for Chanel bags. As they used to have a price difference between the caviar and the lambskin. The lambskin used to be more expensive and the caviar was the slightly cheaper option. Now obviously Chanel being the business brand that it is caught on to the fact that a lot of people love to buy caviar and we'll get into the pros and the cons in, in a second. But once they obviously figured that out and realised how popular caviar leather is, the prices have come up and they're now the same whether or not you buy the bag in caviar or lambskin. So when we look at whether or not we should buy a bag in caviar and lambskin, there are quite a lot of things to be taken into account. But before we get into that, if you're new here, if you're returning and you haven't yet, if you're a luxury lover, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, luxury hauls, unboxings, fashion, any of that, please, please do hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you back. This could just be the channel for you. And if you enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up down below. Um, I would very much appreciate that. But just jumping in then to if we're buying a purchase, if it is caviar or lambskin. Now, the option will be taken out of our hands in quite a number of bags. For example, the Trendy CC. Now, I don't have that here, but it is on my wish list. But the Trendy CC is only made in lambskin. And the fact that it's made in lambskin won't stop me buying it. Just like this colour is only made or was only made in the 18B collection in lambskin. And I fell in love with the colour, so it didn't matter to me that it was only lambskin and I still bought the bag. It certainly wouldn't stop me buying it. However, when I say that, it's the only lambskin bag that I have. The rest are caviar or calf leather. Following on from that, in respect of the mini, which I will just bring out um, just the, the closest one to me, the little um, rectangular mini. This is obviously also in the caviar. Chanel have stopped making the minis in the caviar and they're very very popular and the reason i think they're very very popular ties into my first reason of buying caviar and why i would say it's a pro and it is the durability this leather is just so tough it is so durable and as much as this bump and the caviar leather and it takes away from the smoothness and the softness it adds the durability to the bag this bag can just be worn so carefree and so often like I generally don't take my lambskin bag out in the rain I am Irish so that is something that is a factor and does have to be considered this bag I can take out anywhere or anytime and that's the same with any of my caviar bags so the big big pro for caviar has to be the durability it has to be the durability I think if you are someone that is looking to buy your first Chanel bag 
or if you're looking to buy a Chanel bag that you intend to use every day or use regularly, then I really do recommend and think you should strongly consider the caviar. If it's a bag for regular use and it is going to be thrown across your shoulder, bumping into things, in and out of shops, I honestly think the caviar needs to be considered because it is so much more durable. The wear and tear is is perfect. It, not perfect, but it's, it's so much better. There is such little wear and tear on this leather. It's just such a durable fabric that I think that if it is going to be a bag that you're using an awful lot, your bag is going to maintain its its look and its presentation for a much longer time so i think if it's your only bag or your first bag i definitely would strongly recommend and consider caviar as i've said i still buy lambskin this is lambskin and i will hopefully add a trendy cc at one point that is lambskin so it doesn't put me off but I am now lucky enough and in the fortunate position to have quite a collection of handbags. So when I buy one, I know that I don't need to be using it every day and it will be in a rotation. So it's not that the lambskin is going to get that much use that it is going to start to show the wear and tear. Lambskin definitely does show the wear and tear quicker and more and, sh and gets wear and tear just generally more than the caviar does just because this is such a durable fabric it lasts really well and the reason i say that if it's your first chanel purchase or a big chanel purchase let like let's be real these bags are so expensive whether or not you're buying them new or buying them pre-loved they're so expensive and one of the things I have to say caviar plays into when you're making that decision is it's probably going to be a more comfortable purchase, more carefree. You're probably going to be using the, the caviar without thinking about it as much, without worrying about it as much, without thinking, oh, I'm, you know, I'm going to get a scratch on it or my nail has hit it or I've rubbed up against something or color transfer. And I think those those are things that would just play on your mind a little bit. So if it is your first purchase, I do think that the, the, dur the durability and and the wear and tear in respect of the caviar would make it probably just one that is that is a little bit more comfortable and will give you a little bit more ease of use when you're using your purchase. I was talking to one of my friends on Instagram who recently got a fantastic deal on an absolutely beautiful Chanel jumbo in a cream colour. The bag's absolutely stunning and she got it at a really good deal. But because it's lambskin, even though she didn't pay retail and got such a good price on it, she's still worried about using it. And I think that's something you do have to bear in mind if you are going to buy lambskin. But then, you know, people do still buy lambskin. I'm one of them and I have this bag in lambskin. And again, just one of the, the beauties of lambskin is look at how beautiful it is. It's so soft and buttery and puffy. And the thing with the lambskin leather is it takes the colour better. So lambskin as a material just takes the colour dye better than the caviar does. The colour is so saturated. It gives the bags these beautiful, deep, deep colours. And because of that, Chanel will bring out more pieces in bright one-off colours in lambskin because it, it showcases the, the colour that much better. So that is a reason why um, I certainly will still look at lambskin bags because the colour is just so saturated and it is just so vibrant. Now, the thing about the lambskin leather as well is it makes the bag so luxurious looking. It is It is more delicate. You do have to be more aware of it. It does get more wear and tear. If we look on the inside of this, and this is just normal marks that happen on lambskin skin bags. These are the uh, indentation impressions of the chain and the zip on the inner flap. Now you can't see them on the outside and in my view it doesn't take away from the bag. One thing you can do to help that is when you're storing your bag, is I keep across mine, I put felt across here like this whenever I'm storing the bag and I don't close the clasp because when you close the clasp you put more pressure on the zip and on the buckle and it presses it into this but of course when you're using the bag you close the clasp you know you close the clasp so it's going to happen these I, I don't think can be avoided it is just you can see across here if the camera will pick it up you can almost make out the teeth of the zip 
across here and then this from the chain and that happens in lambskin it is just the indentation and the pressure so you do have to be aware with lambskin that there is a bit more wear and tear to it that being said i don't think it's just as delicate as some people used to fear it is i think it is more usable than what um a lot of us thought but you do have to take that into account that the wear and tear it can you know you can make it work you just have to be aware of that you just have to be a bit more careful be a bit more careful where you choose to take it how often you choose to wear it wanted i wanted to make a video to focus on the caviar and the lambskin because i get so many questions about it and people do get concerned about it i still think about it when i'm buying a bag it's it's these bags are so expensive i don't think that i'll ever be in a position to just buy them and think oh sure it doesn't matter you know I, I think it's something you still have to weigh up in your own lifestyle and whether or not you think it will work with for you so i just wanted to make this video to give an in more of a focused view on caviar versus lambskin rather than the bag overall and i hope that this has been helpful for you if you are considering one of these bags if it is please do give it a thumbs up it would mean the world to me and if you've enjoyed this again if it's your type of content please do subscribe i put out videos twice a week on luxury on hauls and boxings things like that and i would love to see you back thank you so much for joining me i hope you are all well and i will see you again in the next one.